started checking, they found three bodies, and another guy was missing. A Dr. Waterman, a kind of weirdo professor from the university. I covered the story for my paper, but I couldn't come up with any satisfactory angle. Is that David? Yes, it is. Where's he been? Electrotherapy. 
He's been a complete depressive since my first interview with him a year ago. So, as I told you on the telephone, I'm afraid you're in for a disappointment. Yeah, I suppose so. But I wanted to give it another try, see if anything new had developed in the last year. The case is so bizarre, it kind of fascinates me. And frankly, things are kind of slow in the news business. What do you do with a guy in that shape? Well, at this point, we're looking for anything that will elicit a response. Some reaction to give us a starting point for therapy. We administer mild electric shock, stimulants, and this little room down here. It's something new. I'll show you. It has one red wall and a light switch. He can choose to turn the light on or off, or either face the red wall or turn his back to it. So what does he do? Well, he has yet to do anything of his own volition. The only thing he pays any attention to is that little cross he carries. He got violent when the police tried to examine the cross, and we had to put him under sedation. Since then, he's been a complete melancholic. If he's faking, could he possibly get away with it? Please, Mr. Sloan, be aware that conjectures about illness in the human mind are the province of the psychiatrist. David, you have a visitor. The intercom is on, Mr. Sloan. We can hear you if you need us. Thanks, I won't be long. How are you feeling, David? Uh, what's the uh, cross for? To protect you from the curse? Dave, I've got something to show you. This will make you feel better. Mm. I thought you said he was the quiet type. Yes, well, you never know. All right. Thank you, nurse. Yes, sir. Oh, uh... Here's the cross. Somehow I wound up with it. My cross! I hope I didn't mess up your therapy, Doc. We'll see. This is the tape I made the day after they brought David in. The one the cops had? That's right. This is a copy. June 18th. Initial interview with David Fielding. David, I am Dr. Johansson. Do you remember me? We met yesterday, down in receiving. Well, I'm not surprised if you don't. You were pretty upset. You kept insisting that someone was after you. You said they were going to kill you. Who are they, David? Now we're all here to help you, David. We all want to help you. This gentleman is Detective Harrison. Hello, David. We can't help you if you won't let us, David. I think you're well enough to tell us about it. Why don't you try? I... All right. I'll try. I suppose I've got to tell someone. Even if they think I'm crazy, 
How did it start, David? Saturday. I got a call from Dr. Waterman. Who is Dr. Waterman? He was my geology professor. And why did he phone you? Wanted to see me right away. His mountain cabin, something important. Jim Hudson was with me. I asked if he could come along. He said, okay. I told him we'd be there the next afternoon. There were two girls with you, weren't there? Yeah. Jim's girlfriend, Vicky, had a picnic planned. They decided to keep it on. Didn't tell me till the last minute. Even had a blind date for me. So there was Jim and Vicky? And what was your blind date's name? Susan. Susan Turner. She was just down here from New York. I, I was worried the professor wouldn't like it. Why, David? Well, he sounded so strange. Kind of mysterious. And, well, nervous. Did you explain this to your friend? Yeah, I told Jim. He said the girls could wait in the car if necessary. We took my car and drove into the mountains. Did you change that awful station, oh, Susan? And then here's the shutter. Now, you press this button and it takes the picture. Last picnic you brought your camera and then forgot all about that. Now you probably forgot to load the camera. Uh-uh. No, not uh -huh. this time. Uh -huh. <laughs> Looks like we took the wrong road. Maybe we didn't. We might have to walk to get there. Dr. Waterman's place is in the woods a little ways. Why don't we walk up there and see if we can get a Coke or something? Don't you think we ought to let Dave see Dr. Waterman, since we don't know what his plans are? Water jugs in the car. What'd you put in it? Nothing. I thought you were supposed to put something in it. Well, I thought you were going to put something in it. Why was no, I supposed I don't to? Believe it. I... Come on, we'll go see. Very pretty up here. Yeah, great place for a picnic with nothing to drink. You know, with all these trees around here, seems like there should be a stream somewhere. There is, near the cabin. Dr. Waterman's cabin? Explosion. Stove or water heater, maybe. No. It's caved in, not blown out. Doesn't look like he was there when it happened. No signs of life. Think I'll go Can I help you? Oh, hello. You the ranger here? That's right. Name's Asmodeus. You looking for someone? Yeah, Dr. Waterman. That was his cabin. What happened to it? I'm not sure. Could have been a boulder from up above. Have you seen Dr. Waterman? Are you friends of his? Yeah, we had an appointment today. He's not here. I haven't seen him. Anything I can do for you? No, thank you. We brought a picnic. I guess we'll have it and go back to town. Well, have fun. See you later. You'll probably find Dr. Waterman back in town. Right. Thank you. 
Where's Vicky? Hey, what do you do? Hey, tell me I don't see that. A castle? I asked you not to tell me that. I've only been here once, and I'm not sure it's the same area. And I sure never saw or heard of a castle. Far out. Looks like a picture on a travel folder. Yeah, for Transylvania. Let's go take a look at it. Yeah. How the heck do we get there? Well, we can, we can hike over that way and take a look. Might be an entrance on the other side, but it's too far. This side's too steep for the girls to climb. Would like to get to it, though. It might be where Dr. Waterman is. Well, doesn't cost anything to try. Susan? I'm with you. This is the best way. See the road? Some picnic, huh? It came from in there, in the cave. I know. Anyone want to go in there? Well, I'd like to, if we had some way to see. Have you got a flashlight in the car? No, I haven't. Matches. All right, we'll... We'll make some torches. Torches. All right. You're a geologist, Dave. What do you think? Ever unearth anything like this? <laughs> I think what we're about to unearth is a practical joker who plants phony footprints and makes weird noises in caves to put people on. <laughs> Watch your step. There's a lot of junk in here. Yeah, there's something right here. Well, come on, dummy. That's why I gave you the torch, so you wouldn't break your neck. Well, my eyes haven't adjusted yet. Just take your time. Where are you? <laughs> Jim! 
Jim, where are you? This way, Jim. Down this way. Turn back. This is the right one, Dave, to the left. Here, around this bend. Don't get too far in front of me, Jim. <laughs> oh, Jim! Jim! Mickey. Jim! Jim! You all right, babe? Who the heck are you? The book. That's what you're after. We aren't looking for a book. <laughs> you're here. You have to take it. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Oh, is this weird? Oh, let's follow him. <laughs> Do you really think we ought to follow him? Well, he can't hurt us. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Here it is. <laughs> It's your book. Take it. Don't you want it back? What's this about a skeleton? I saw one in there, just before the what old... What kind of skeleton? Human. Oh, come on. You didn't see a human skeleton. It was just... Don't tell me what I didn't see. It was right in front of me. In that torchlight? It was probably some animal or some it rock. It was or... human. Well, we could go back and see. Oh, no, not this kid. No matches. Now, look. We'll tell somebody back in town about it. And let them take care of it, okay? All right. Feeling better? Oh, I'd love to get this book open. Well, let's have a picnic and examine the book. Okay. You hungry? Frankly, I'm starved. But let's do find a more wholesome atmosphere. Why? I can't believe that crazy old man has really been living in that cave. Yeah, it looked like he was. How do you suppose he exists in there? I doubt if we'll ever know. Well, I took care of the beverage. Fresh mountain stream water. And I just hope you can cook chicken. I'll have you know my chicken is of world renown. Mm. Voila. <laughs> Saved by the colonel. Look at this. Yeah. Must be that pioneer stock in your background. Oh. Lunchtime. No, I want to get this open first. You sure fighting that thing. The old man neglected to give us the key. Would you like to go back and ask him for it? Mm. Here. Try this. Well, well, we brought a Boy Scout with us. Yes, we did. Wait, now wait, now be, now wait a minute. You're going to break the point off that thing. Let me do it, okay? Here, catch. I got it. Pretty clever. No springs, just two interlocking okay, links. Okay, open it, Jim. Wow. <coughs> what a stink. 
Where to keep this thing in a sewer? Smells more like rotten eggs. Sulfuric. Yeah. <laughs> hey, what's this? Well, what is it? Somebody's notes. Well, what's it say? Hmm. Unknown preservative. Talks about the excellent condition of the book. A couple of chemicals that might be involved. Very knowledgeable. Very scientific. So? So if this is more the old man's put on, at least it's getting more interesting. Hey, I didn't make all this stuff for the ants. She didn't make all that for the ants. Okay, be right there. If the smell of this book doesn't make me lose my appetite. <laughs> Look at this character. Have a... Yeah. Wow. This is some piece of literature. Only it's going to be a little difficult to follow the story without a translation. Come on, you guys. Let's have our picnic and go see that castle. A lot more interesting than some smelly old book. Dear Harp, why don't you dummy up? She's right, Jim. We should try to find out where Dr. Waterman is. We can examine the book later. Okay. All right. Who made the potato salad? Joe's Delicatessen? I made it myself. Then I'll stick with the chicken. Say, here's something I can read. Pretty well, anyway. It's in Latin. Nima? Hmm. Forever glory, the and. Must mean and the. Power, the and. Kingdom, the is, thou, thine. Yeah? The is thine. Kingdom, the is thine. Hey, wait a minute. Don't read anymore. I know what that is. That's the Lord's Prayer, backwards. You know, I still keep thinking about that skeleton. Oh, boy. Well, it's nice you have something to occupy your mind. Heh <laughs> heh. Come on, Dave. Hey! What happened? Dr. Waterman. Sure? Yeah, I got a glimpse of him. He has the book. You stay here. Oh.
listen, I know you and Dr. Waterman were close, but you can't blame yourself for his death. It was an accident. The way he ran from us, he did it himself. Now he's not exact. Where are you going? are our own. Dave, a minute ago, Dr. Waterman was lying here dead. And now he's gone. Flesh, bones, blood, all are gone, if he really was dead. Sulfuric acid. Can you smell the sulfur? Yeah, but what does that mean? He burned up in a bed of sulfur? Lose something? Uh, hi there. Say, have you seen Dr. Waterman? No, I'm afraid not. Thought we agreed he was back in town. Well, he was just here. Uh, well, and, uh... he was just here yesterday when he phoned. We wondered if you'd seen him since then. No. If he were around here, I think I'd know it. Did you have your picnic yet? Yeah, back there. Well, I'd like to ask you to leave the area like you found it, if you will. People camp and picnic around here, and they sometimes leave an awful mess. Yes, sir. We cleaned up. Never know we were there. By the way, in a cave back up that way, we ran into some weird old character in a book. <laughs> yeah, he was a weird old character right out of a book, like he said. He gave us quite a scare at first. Damn, that cave. I should have warned you. Now, that place is really dangerous. You shouldn't go in there. Well, we're about ready to leave anyway. Well, there were some footprints. Really big. Like nothing you ever saw before. Like a monster or something. Monster. Well, there used to be a few brown bears around here, maybe an occasional mountain lion, but I'm afraid we're fresh out of monsters. It was probably that crazy old man's idea of a joke. Well, maybe I'll just look in on your friend. See you later. Right. Oh, I forgot to ask him about the castle. What are you gonna do now? I just wanna think about it for a minute. Listen, if those guys start yakking with Dr. Waterman or somebody, we could still be here this time tomorrow. I think we ought to find them. Well, they might come back a different way, and we could miss them. I'll stay here if you wanna go ahead and find them. Okay, you hold the fort. I'll bring them right back, by the ears. Okay, okay. I can understand not telling him about Dr. Waterman, but why shouldn't I have mentioned the book? It may be an important find. I just don't think we should advertise it. But what's a range you're going to do with an old book? Jim, I don't know. I just want to try and figure out this Dr. Waterman thing. Yeah, yeah. Well, the girls are going to be frantic, and I think we ought to get back to them. All right, let's go. Hey, listen, man. This thing is getting pretty far out. Do you think Dr. Waterman was sick or anything? chronic condition Dr. Waterman might have had that could have put him in a catatonic coma like that to make him appear dead. That kind of stuff is out of my league. I wouldn't know a catatonic coma if it bit me. Have you thought of anybody back in town you could talk to? Do you know who his doctor is? No, but if we don't find him ourselves, we'll have to tell the police and they'll do all that.
Susan, are you all right? Oh, David. Yes, I'm fine. What happened? I don't know. I, I guess I just fell. Here, you better sit down. What's this? Oh, my cross. I, I guess I've broken the chain. I'm all right, really. Susan, something's happened. Something really strange. We were chasing Dr. Waterman and he fell. And we thought he was dead. We were going to go back to town and call the police. But I just couldn't leave him there. And so we went back. And he was gone. Gone? But... I, I, I don't know. I don't have a single theory. I've never known him to do anything strange. Like the way he took that book and ran. It could be brain damage or mental disorder of some kind. Or uh, maybe he was in that house when it was wrecked. That's the only thing that could explain his behavior, some mental aberration. He might even be suffering from... Look, it's... Here's Dr. Waterman's name. What? I found this piece of paper in the book with his name on it. Well, what does it say? Wow, well, listen to this. It's Dr. Waterman, all right. It's his notes about this book. Translation goes along smoothly, then completely bogs down as the book indiscriminately changes languages. I believe Tess will prove the book to be a thousand years old. If not as old as the Dead Sea Scrolls, evidently from the opposite camp. Absorbed in the difficult task of translation, I was at first unaware of the meaning of this rare and unique text. It seems to be a very veritable Bible of evil, witchcraft or demonism, as it was practiced in the remote area of the Persian Gulf, where the book was found. From the time I first laid hands on the book, I heard nothing but rumors and vague warnings of its danger, all from the superstitious people of the area. quite different than anything else I have seen. It approaches the subject very methodically, as an absolute, as though its doctrines were widely practiced in its era and place. also found the philosophy of the book to be fascinating, considering its ancient origin. The forces of good and evil coexist throughout the universe and in the minds of men. The object of each force and its practitioners is to lessen or cancel as much as possible the effectiveness of the opposite force. The adept demonologist held a position of high honor. The practice of evil and destruction is put forward as a joy and reward in itself. Practitioners of evil who compile this book use symbols to counteract the effectiveness of good. Many combinations of symbols for both forces are listed. However, as the practitioner needed certain symbols of good to protect himself from the demons he brought forth and created. Manipulation of these symbols is treated exactly like the science of chemistry. This element changes that one. One symbol is a catalyst, another is an agent or counteractant. Strangely enough, in the list of symbols for good are some very familiar ones. The cross and the double triangle star of David, if made of certain metals, are among them. Hmm. In actual practice, of course, the science of demonology as outlined in the book is much more complicated than I have indicated here which brings me to the point where I now stand. In full scientific skepticism, 
but with much personal curiosity, I have set up and executed some experiments as diagrammed in the book. In a nearby secluded area, I followed to the best of my knowledge the instructions for some of the simpler manifestations, the last of which produced fantastic results. It worked. I felt as though I had found the fabled touchstone. I could see myself changing the entire structure of modern science. More recently, however, I've come to feel that my experiments were somewhat premature of my knowledge on the subject. There is instability. I am unable to control what I have created. Attracted to the book like flies. No, I, I, I can't read it. It's pretty heavy stuff. Yeah. Well, what do you make of it, Dave? I don't know. Unless we talk to Dr. Waterman, we may never know. Well, so what are we going to do now? I'd still like to try that castle. Uh, you don't think he's still up there, do you? Jim, I don't know. But if we can't find Dr. Waterman, I'd like to at least find someone who's seen or talked to him lately, okay? Okay. <sighs> it's gone! This is the place, isn't it? I think so. Yes! Yes, it is! It was right over there when I saw it. Okay, okay. Try to maintain, will you? Well, what now, Maestro? Looks like we have to give some credence to Dr. Waterman's notes, doesn't it? Huh? He means we have to believe the man now. Let's go up there, Jim, and see if we can find anything. Okay. It's pretty steep. You girls wait here. Now, wait a minute. Uh, you guys may enjoy this open-air magic show, but I'm getting the creeps. Take it easy, love. We're okay. <laughs> Come on, can't we just go home? We can. But if we leave here without trying to find out what's going on, I, for one, am going to feel very foolish when we tell our story back in town. Uh, speak for yourself, Sir Lancelot. Hey, hey, look, here in the book, in Dr. Waterman's notes, he says there were symbols that protect a person from... from whatever. Let's see, Susan has a cross. Does anyone else have a cross or a star, David? No. Well, let's see what we can find. Here it is. Here's one we can make. How? Some willow twigs. That's neat. Your major was basket weaving. <laughs> yes. Put them inside your shirts. They have to be next to your body. Gee, I feel kind of left out. Bless you, my child. If the rest of us weren't such heathens, I wouldn't have had to go to all this trouble. Well, you can thank me for the thread that's holding them together. Now I just hope I don't fall apart. Oh, I don't know. Seems like a pretty nice place to start a nudist colony. <laughs> Keep your eye on that, will you? Oh. Hey, look. Don't horse around up there, okay? Just do your thing long enough to feel real manly, and then let's get out of here. Please. Boy, you could grow up to be a real fuss budget. Look. Promise me you'll be a good girl and don't get Susan all upset, too, all right? Well, what are we going to do now? Find a comfortable rock, sit back, and wait for them. Watch those yucca spines. They stick like crazy. Just around that cliff. Hey, 
Hey, come on. I'll take your picture. You sure you know how to use it? Yeah, Jim showed me how. Okay. The light's not very good here. Why don't you sit over by the stream? from here, wasn't it? I think so. That's the first live thing I've seen around here all day. Hey! Dave! Come here. This is it. Hold it. Can you see it? See what? What are you talking about? Wait, I'll show you. Watch this. Watch what? What in the... I can see it now. notes. Instability. This thing must fluctuate. Wow. Davy boy, figure this one out and our fortune is made in showbiz. The Rover Boys and their disappearing castle. Now you see it, now you don't. I wonder if that castle's still there. Yeah. And or, Dr. Waterman. There you are. Is that okay? Okay, now, just a second. Help! Save me! Help me! Help me! Help!
Watch down. Try to get his attention. you killed him. Better go see. Notice? One of the pictures in the book. It looks like this thing. Yeah, I wonder if that's one of Dr. Waterman's experiments that went haywire. That poor old man! Jim! That thing! Oh, it killed the old man from the cave! What? It was chasing him when we saw it. It... it caught him. Let's go! Let's get out of here! No, no. First, we have to take care of the old man's body. Then we'd better notify the authorities. Oh, can't we just tell that ranger and let him take care of it? Yeah, if we knew where to find him, we don't even know where the station is. Yeah, and that ranger would try to tell us it was Smokey the Bear. They're gonna sure think we're crazy when we tell him about this thing. My camera. I'll get it and take a picture. Good. Oh, darn. Must have been a reflex or something. It's dead, honey. We're safe. I'll go this way. Now, I'll take a picture and meet you later. I don't like all the splitting up. No, 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 no. This is the quickest way. Now, you go with Davis, Sue, and see about that old man. And help take the picnic gear back to the car, here. Oh, boy, I knew you'd find a way to get out of all the work.
someplace, wasn't it? Yeah, it was right over there, I think. Uh, I'd better go along. <sighs> I just don't believe this day. You know, I keep thinking that pretty soon I'll wake up. <laughs> <laughs> Susan Beckett, what? She's gone crazy. She's an animal. <laughs> isn't it? I mean, the way people mess up the countryside like that. Mr. Asmodeus, I was just looking for you. Yeah, well, I was I'm... just looking for you, too, kid. You people have the book, don't you? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You have the book, and you're going to give it to me. Huh? If you knew what was in that book, you'd turn to jelly. It's not meant for worms like you. What did you think you were going to do with it? Sell it to a museum? Why didn't you tell me? Ah, damn, heaven! All right. I underestimated you. Put it away. You're safe. Put it away. I got to hand it to you, kid. Not many people could have come up with that. So we'll make a deal, huh? Let me tell you. I can make a deal like nobody you ever saw. Who are you? It's not who I am. It's what I can do for you. What do you want? Anything in the world. Name it. Money, prestige, girls. You could have all the things you've ever dreamed of. You want proof? Well, let's see, there ought to be some proof walking around here somewhere. Or maybe you've seen him. My large simian friend, the 30-foot ape. I see you have. Let me tell you, kid, the supply is limitless. Now, if I can create creatures like that, you know if I can fulfill my promise. All you have to do is give me the book and discredit any story your friends tell back in town, and you can have anything in this world you want. Why is that book so important to you? Listen, kid, you've got some protection right now. But don't think that can save you. You've been lucky so far, but I haven't tried yet. So make up your mind. Which one of those girls is yours? The tall one? The other one? Well, I haven't got to her yet, but I will. You better think fast, kid. Take my offer or you and your friends are as good as dead. All the money you ever want, kid. <laughs> It'll be all right. Susan, remember what Dr. Waterman said in his notes? He said that good and evil coexist throughout the universe and in everybody's mind. No, not what was in my mind. Nobody has thoughts, feelings like that. Nobody human, anyway. Listen, what was done can be undone if you have the knowledge. And we have it, or we will have with the book. That man, that whatever he is, how could he do a thing like this? 
Dave, I didn't even remember it until just now. Well, maybe that's a good sign. Oh, damn! Here, let me help you. Oh, it's no use. Oh, they just break. Where's Jim? We've got to get out of here. Take it easy, Vicky. Jim will be back. He has to come this way. Vicky, any one symbol or Susan's cross will protect the entire group from, from whatever. It's only when we separate that we're... Oh, yeah? Then why'd you spend all that time trying to find Susan's cross? You've got a symbol. We'll take my symbol. No. Oh, I don't know what I'm saying. Take care of Susan. Oh, Vicky, I don't sorry. apologize again, Susan. Please, I'm all right. Look, it wasn't you. Oh, God. I've got to find Jim. Vicky! Vicky, stop! Stop! We've got to stick together. If you run after Jim, we'll lose him. He'll be back this way. David, I'm so scared. We're going to make it, Vicky. He'll be along. We'll be all right, Vicky. I'm sorry. Susan, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to make it worse for here you. Here comes Jim. Oh, Jim! We've got to get out of here. Now. And leave that book. What? That Mr. Asmodeus. He was yeah, the one who made yeah, that... Yeah, we know. He's done something to Susan, but we're not leaving that book. We've got to. He says he'll kill us if we don't. He made the monster. Like it or not, we have a responsibility to ourselves, if no one else. What he did to Susan, well, with the book, she can be helped. But without it, it just... What did he do? Never mind that. Let's get the book and get out of here. Yes, but what if he comes back? Look, We're going to be... Look, Asmodeus comes back, we... Asmodeus. I just remembered. Asmodeus is another name for the devil. The devil? I believe it. You should have seen him in action. Oh, my God. Go get the book and let's get out of here. Okay. Jim, look! Over there! Stay back here, out of the way. Asmodeus? Mr. Asmodeus, where are you? See, you, you can hear me. through the barrier. See if I can help Jim. Now give me two... Dave! Dave! Here, quick! The book! Grab me! Grab his arm! Hurry! No! 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 Jim! Oh, Jim! Got to get out of here quick. Take the car and get help. No! He's right, Vicky. Come on.
Where'd the girls go? Well, they've... I sent them back to the car to go to the police or get help. With the book? Mm-hmm. Well, let's stop them. Jim? Hold it! to give them the keys. Which one of them has the book? Susan, but... Which way is the car? Well, that way, but we... Good. We'll split up. No, I don't think we should. If you find them first, yell. Jim? Jim? You're not Jim, are you? What have you done to Jim? What are you? We're all such fools, you and your friend Waterman, who was handed the secrets of the powers of darkness and then didn't know what to do with them. That barrier is the result of his work. Ha! Ah, now do you see how helpless you are? And now for those two girls.
Those feelings are coming back. Hang on, Susan. We'll make it. We'll be all right. I've got the cross. If yeah, we can but... just get to the highway, we'll flag a car. Anything usable for your newspaper story? Uh, I'm afraid not. What about the police? No, I was there first. I was in hopes something would happen. Something I could get a story out of. But this, it's a year old. So, what did you expect to happen? I don't know. But it's been exactly a year and a day since that made news. My editor wanted a follow-up. Well, then this is it. A year and a day. That's right. But it doesn't look like he's going to do anything. Oh, my God! They're going to... My God! He's like... Oh, oh, my God! My God! Let me go! Let me out! The killer is my God! Thanks for your time, Doctor. My God! Yes. <laughs> 